All right. Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me today on this epic live stream where we are going to try and determine how much weight until it breaks. I want to say hello to everyone in the chat. Hello, Chris Nudson. Hello, Pico Boo. Hello, Design Dreamer. Hello, Jim Yu. Hello, Jern. How are you? And welcome, welcome, one and all. We're not going to belabor this too much. We're just going to kind of get right into it. So the model that we are talking about comes from this model here, which if you are interested in creating this model, you can visit us at twotalltoby.com. You can click here to get started with practice models. And you can see here that we've got a repository of over 143 practice models. And this one that we are doing today is right here. You can access this drawing and you can model up this part and then 3D print it yourself. Now, this one is behind the paywall. So if you're not ready to make that, that kind of commitment yet to the site, that's okay. You can take a step back here and you can do this soap dish, which can also be 3D printed. So these two models here can also be 3D printed and those are available for anybody with a free account. But uh, if you're ready to, to support the channel and you want to support the channel in a great way, you can sign up for Practice Models Premium and that will get you access to the drawing for this model here. And of course, this model here is has manifested itself in physical form as this hook. It's very large. Look how big this is compared to my hand. It's a very large 3D printed part. I didn't realize quite how beefy it was going to be when I modeled this up. And so once it did print out, I, you know, the very first thing I thought was like, well, I wonder how much weight this thing can hold. So let's find this out together. And I do have a, an instant replay function set up here and I'm gonna give it a try. I'm not sure how awkward it's gonna be to do the instant replay, but let's find out here together. So we're gonna start out here with this bag, just the bag. And let's see if I can reach, so here we go. Looks like it's holding, looks like it didn't break. Move the bag. And let's see if we can get the instant replay to show up here. Here we go. This is going to be pretty exciting. I don't think the instant replay is working. Maybe it's just going really slow. I do have it dialed down to like 42%. So maybe the instant replay is too slow. I need that to go faster. Bump that up to, bump it up to 75%. Yeah, there we go. Very exciting, very, very exciting. Probably be more exciting when we uh, actually end up breaking this part, but very exciting here to see this instant replay and to see that part, that part drops. All right, let's go, let's get into the bulk of the show. So the question is, what do you guys think? How much weight can this hold? Pico Boo says, I guess 25 the other day, but I'm changing it to 55. Yo, let's go, let's go. All right, let's do this. So Vicky Chong says, I'm guessing 40. You guys can fire your guesses in. You can change them along the way. But we're going to start out here with these three pounders, three pounders. We're going to put two of them in the bag, two of them in the bag. Here we go. One, two, and do this. Yes. Yes. A little bit of flex there. A little bit of flex there in that one. But looks like two pounds. Whoops, I forgot to update the, to update the Okay, so that was our first. Let's see here. Instant replay is not not cooperating. That's all right. Let's see if we can get it to. Why is it not cooperating? That's the question. All right, it's just blasted through. It looks like it should be working. We'll try it again. We'll try it again, we'll get it working. All right, so six pounds. Worked. 56 pounds, wow. All right, let's go to, let's. you guys are, are really estimating high here, so let's go to 15. Let's see what we can do with 15 pounds here. 15 pounds, how many walls, bottom top layer, 
how many walls in the infill. So standard setting. So I think it's two two walls on the bottom and three on the top, or three on the bottom and two on the on the top. Uh, the infill is is fifteen percent infill, and it's hexagonal for the infill. All right, and Zed Joe says 25 pounds. Rock Caller, 73 pounds. That's what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping we can really load this thing up. I might have to go get more weights from the gym. All right, guys, let's jump up to 15 pounds here. Let's see what happens, and we'll see if we can get that instant replay work, and I really want to see that thing break. Slow-mo. All right, let's go to 15 pounds here. Move 10. And a 5. Okay. Uh, this is pretty heavy. Guys, this is pretty heavy. This is this might actually be the one. All right, here we go. Instant replay recording and definitely some flex there. Let's see if see if we can get that instant replay to work. All right, looks like it might be working. I wonder if the instant replay is kicking off any uh, any audio or anything. Uh, it's not working. That's a shame. Let's see. I wonder if it's a setting, maybe. Oh, well. Rats. Here are the files here. It's just not playing for some reason. I wonder maybe if it's like a, a replay buffer issue or something like that. All right, let's see here. What's more robust, PLA or PETG? Good question. I guess it kind of depends on how you print it. And also there could be temperature considerations. I'm going to let people in the chat answer those questions. I'm going to keep moving along with this. Jim Yu says, revised to about 35 kg with the new info. Yeah, I like it. All right. Well, let's take it up to 25. Let's see how we do at 25 here. So we'll go up by 10 pounds and we'll see how we do here. 25 pounds. Will it break? Let's find out. The real test is to see how long they can hold that amount of weight. Is this an all day live stream? Nope. We're going to be doing this more of a fatigue study. Vicky Chong, great question. We're going to do this more like a fatigue study. Load and unload and see how it goes. So here we go. 25 pounds. I'll just throw another 10 pounder on top. I'm gonna go to 20 here instead. Just to just to kind of ease into it. So here we go. 20 pounds. Will it break? Watch your feet. Yeah, watch my feet. Here we go. Okay, that was 20. 20 pounds. Like it held. Test going here. Bump this up to 25 here. All right. I'm just gonna press my luck and see if I can get that instant play to work here. Just curious about what's going on here. Here we go. 25 pounds. Oh my gosh, my back. My balloon. Oh! <laughs> and there we go boys that was it pretty short live stream today don't forget to hit the like button if you guys enjoyed that all right let's see if the instant replay captured that wow that was uh that was intense all right let's see if we can see if we get anything don't know if we're gonna get the instant replay to show this it's got the video. Just doesn't want to play it for some reason. Oh, instant replay is going crazy with the volume. Sorry about that, everybody. Well, there we go. 25 pounds. Let's go. Kegel guessed it. I'll pull this live stream down off YouTube and then we can we'll put together a cool instant replay reel. But there we go. There is the break. And there is the answer. So you guys can kind of see. Let me see what's better over here. You can kind of see what's going on on the infill there. And that'll be cool to watch that to see how it broke. There it is. That's the. That's.
That's the answer to the question. How much can it hold? The answer is 25 pounds plus the bag. Very cool. Very, very cool. So what could we do to make this a little bit more robust? Well, we could maybe print it out of a different material. We could change the infill settings. We could change the orientation of the print. There's a few things we could do to make this a little bit more robust, but it is good to know if you have a light book bag, you can hang it from that hook. But if you hang anything too heavy, you might end up getting a little bit of a surprise. If you want that to be more robust, you could use a stronger infill, uh, more, more shells on the sidewalls, and you could uh, use a different material. I'm gonna try and get a hold of some PLA CF, the carbon fiber PLA, and see how well that works. Uh, gyroid in the chat. Guys, let me know in the chat, what do you guys think we could do to make this stronger? Roman in the chat says, gyroid infill will make it stronger. Yo, let's try it. What else we got? Anybody else have any ideas what we could do? Pico Boo says, I should have stuck with my first guess. Yeah. Short live stream today, more walls. Yeah, Jim Yu says, I use more walls uh, and foremost, more walls for, on infill for my structural parts. Very nice. More walls, more walls. Jern saying more walls. Pico Boo saying more walls. Yes, yeah, so we could go into our slicer and then adjust that to have more walls in that print. So good stuff, guys. And uh, very, like I said, short live stream today, but don't forget to hit the like button. If you want to model up parts like this so that you can 3D print these parts, you can visit us at twotalltoby.com. We have detailed drawings, detailed drawings that you can access on twotalltoby.com, like this one here. This one's free for everyone. It's a detailed drawing here of a soap dish, and you could actually then 3D print this out and end up with a functional 3D printed part. So be sure to check us out, twotalltoby.com. You can sign up for a free account, and if you really like what we're doing and you want to support the channel, you can sign up for the premium membership, which will unlock the entire library, and of course it will show us your love and support. But the easiest way to show us your love and support is just to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button before you leave the live stream today. And we knew this might be a little bit of a shorter one. It was, but sometimes, you know, short and sweet, it's the way to go. Just gonna take a look at a couple of more, a uh, couple of more uh, comments here. Let's see here, CCNC Kitchen for supporting today. Yep, he's got a great channel, tests a lot of different materials and printer settings. Let's see here, more walls until it's 100% plastic. I like that, uh, better for strike lower. Uh, preset thicker walled infill has been key for me. That's good to know. We can actually adjust the thickness of the walls, not only on the outside of the part, but also the thickness of the walls that are used for the infill. And that can be a huge difference. Let's see if your extrusion multiplier is too high, then 100% infill will not work right. Yep, very true. Uh, let's see here. In the process of designing that soap dish, very nice. And popped in to give attendance. Late for me. Catch you soon, friends. Well, I'm glad this was a short one for you, Rambros. And uh, thank you all so much for being a part of this. Print with a bigger nozzle, 0 0.6. Wow, let's go. I like that. So print with a bigger nozzle. That can also help you with strength and let you get those uh, wider walls and also get you a faster print time. So that's good, good advice too. All right, guys, like I said, it was a short one today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe. And uh, we'll be back with another live stream on Monday, Model Monday Live. And maybe I will, now that I need a new hook, now that this hook is broken, uh, maybe what I'll do is I'll go through and I'll print it using some different settings, some of the suggested settings, and maybe we can do another test next week sometime and see if we can get, get up higher, right? 25 is our record right now. Let's see how high we can get on this thing. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. Take care. Good seeing everybody. I'll catch you guys in the next one.